along and get us a new truck? We don't need no new truck. Better let me do the dealing, boy. Good morning. Welcome to Sleepy Hollow. Howdy. Jed, how long do you keep your trucks? Trades every 100 years, whether we need to or not. 2018 Silverado Crew Cab All-Star Edition. Starting at only $39,998 after discounts, rebates, and GM financing. So do we have a deal? And a sweatshirt. Done. Stand in my chair. Snowflake Ski and Golf. Located in beautiful Timber Cooley on County P in Westby. It's a picturesque setting for a nine-hole golf course that is quiet and very enjoyable. Be sure to call Steve Clements, 634-3211 for your tea times. Remember, great food specials as well. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to La Crosse Logan High School. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, LLC. As we're about set to bring you today's opening Scenic Bluffs football game. Conference opener with uh, no uh, non-conference games. They jump right into the conference and just have at it. We're going to have a, uh, a great day here. It's a little chilly, a little rainy, but it's artificial turf. And that means time for some football. We'll take a break and come back as we are having the teams being introduced here. When we return, we'll have the opening kickoff. Glad to have everyone on board. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Centers, serving Cashton, Ontario, Norwalk, Iroquois, Sparta, and beyond. Healthcare from behavioral, dental, chiropractic, and medical can be found at Scenic Bluffs Community Health, a community-based healthcare service that has your health in the forefront. For your next appointment, be sure to call 654-5100. Welcome back to today's Scenic Bluffs football contest as we're getting things ready to go. It's going to be number 68 <clears throat> for the Falcons and Garrett Anderson. Here's the approach. This football game underway. The ball drops down about the 25-yard line, scooped up by the Eagles, and they'll move the ball forward to about the 39-yard line. So a nice little return here in the opening series here for the Cashton Eagles on the return. Look like that might have been uh, Connor Butzler, number 81 on that. And they'll spot the ball actually at about the 38-yard line. So the Eagles with quarterback Alec Wall, second year for him. He's only a junior. So they'll have a great understanding of the offense with him on board. Not to mention, not only uh, with this year, but come back on a short off season, You're ready for fall football. Wall up under center now. Falcons showing a quick blitz. Now they'll drop back. Here we go with a pass, opening pass. It's caught here by the Eagles and brought down at about the 35 yard line. Credit to Lincoln Kling with that reception. Wow, I tell you what. That was a nice little toss and he was wide open. There was nobody around him for maybe about five, six yards. So the opening play by Wall and the Eagles come up big with a huge first down. First and 10, ball placed right on the 35. I formation coming in, it's gonna be Tyson Menzinski, the up man. And Colin O'Neill behind. Here's the handoff to O'Neill. He'll hit the line of scrimmage. He'll move ahead just a touch, make it about three yard pickup. We'll see where they actually spot the ball. Give them four on the play. Brings up second and six. Took that handoff and followed the lead block of uh, his back in Menzinski in that front line. 
taking a look at that line, you've got 70 and Brian Rivera Gonzalez, Emilio Diaz, Austin Culpit, Zach Millsnet, and Gabe Peterson. So good uh, front line there. Boy, those guys are big. Here is uh, O'Neal. He will get a first down. Give him seven yards on that off tackle carry. Take a look. I didn't catch who the tackle was made, but not before, uh, as I said, the seven yard pickup. New set of downs now for the Eagles. Wall brings him up under center. They'll split a man out to the far left side. <clears throat> here is an off tackle here on this near side and not going to get nothing on that one as a short gain. That was O'Neal. <clears throat> On that far side, it was Aiden Cook who split far to the left. He comes out of the ball game. <clears throat> Coming in with the play is number 17 and Dylan Beyer. He'll split out to the left. And the Eagles will drop into shotgun formation. Menziski splits out here to the right side. A handoff, nothing happening there. A great stop by number 13 and Caden Brando. The uh, six foot senior, 175 pounds. He stayed home and made the stop. Well, they read that play. Brings up a third and eight now for the Eagles. Ball on the 22 yard line. They're back to that eye formation and Cook split way out to the uh, left side. Dropping back now the handoff, a delayed handoff with O'Neill. He will get across the 20 yard line, make it right on the doorstep of the 19. <clears throat> That'll give him a uh, fourth down and about five. Good job in that interior line, uh, making that stop. Looked like it was uh, number 56 in Peyton Havlick over there on the left side, making the stop for the uh, Falcons. Well, the Eagles with a fourth and five now. Wall takes a pitch over to O'Neill on that far side. He's got enough for the first down and he's driven out of bounds. Oh, he made a quick move and got to the outside, outraced the defenders before being pushed out of bounds at about the eight yard line. It's first and goal now for the Eagles. 740 and counting in quarter number one. It's the opening possession of the game. Ball sets the play, turn and fakes the handoff. He's going to throw downfield. It is caught for the score. An eight-yard touchdown pass to Lincoln Kling. And the opening drive, the Eagles put six on the board. And now the Eagles will look for the uh, extra point kick here. Dropping back, doing the kicking. This is a Hammerspot, Brady. Lines are set, good snap. Ball is down and it's up and it is good. And it's seven nothing here, the seven twelve mark of the football game, the opening quarter, and the Eagles strike first. We'll take a break and come back after a look at a couple of those wonderful sponsors. What is it that makes you powerful? Having a voice. 
When you're part of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your voice is heard loud and clear. Because you're more than a customer, you're a member. Most important, you're connected to all the other members in our community, to your hometown electric co-op, and to the people who've been there for you year after year. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. The River Bank, with branch offices located in Coon Valley and West Beach to serve all of your banking needs. When looking for that down-home financial help, be sure to stop in and talk to your local River Bank associate. Since 1991, serving the greater Cooley region, it's the River Bank. Back we return. Thanks again to all those terrific sponsors we're going to be talking about throughout. Let's do a quick hit on some of those. How about the Westby Co-op Credit Union? We thank Kevin Hauser and his terrific crew throughout the area, bringing you today's ball game, and also the Westby Co-op Creamery. We appreciate all that the sponsors do. Stop in for that squeaky uh, new cheese, uh, especially. Uh, when it comes to the Westby Co-op Creamery. Those cheese curds are wonderful. Here's the kickoff and uh, the run back. A nice job, they'll get the ball to about the 29 yard line is where they're gonna place it, maybe the 30, we'll see. And they will spot it, looks like right on the 30 yard line and the Falcons will have their first opportunity here in the uh, opening game. Take a look at the quarterback here. Number 10 in Coulterman. He's a 5'11 junior. He takes the uh, snap and the handoff. It's going to be an inside handoff. The run by Caden Brando. And he'll pick up a yard. <clears throat> on a uh, design play. It looked like he wanted to do a little bit of a delay. Gap closed in a hurry there by the defense. <clears throat> Here's a snap right up the middle. Going to push the line forward here. That was uh, number 32 in the carry in Austin Fry. Give him about uh, four on the play. And the Falcons sit at third and five now in their first possession. Peterson, number 24, in motion. Ball up in the air and now Looking to try and pitch. Oh, it's a fumble, and they're going to say he was down. Coulterman was down on the ground. That defense swarming in. Hunsinger making uh, the first hit on the play and got him down on his knees. Cook over there. Oh, you also had, uh, you got some horses over there, by the way. Lucas Hargison, a senior, brings up a fourth and long nine here. And now we're going to get a timeout by the Falcons. They're going to talk things over. And uh, we'll take a break here. We want to say thanks to more of those sponsors, the Vasatek Funeral Home, supporting today's broadcast. Since 1970, they've helped uh, area folks during the time of the loss of a loved one. We'll take that break and be right back. Vernon Manor Health Care Center, located just outside of Viroqua, a county-owned long-term care and rehabilitation facility. Be sure to call Amanda Huff or any of her crew at 637-5400 and find out why you are treated like family at Vernon Manor Health Care Center. located in Cashton and Westby. Premier Co-op with agronomy, grain, 
energy, lumber, hardware, convenience stores, auto repair, and feed supplies. Just to name a few of the items to help with everyone's needs. Best of luck to the area teams throughout the year. From your friends at Premier Co-op, Cashton and Westby. Welcome back as the Falcons now set to drop back into punt formation. It's a good snap and the approach, it's a high kick coming over here. It's going to drop right around the 50-yard line and the Falcons will drop on it at about the 49. In Cashton territory, about a 23, 24-yard uh, punt here. And it'll be first and 10. Eagles. Looking for that down home fun? Stop in at Nordic Lanes in West Beach. That's right, family fun throughout all of the Wisconsin seasons. Volleyball, softball going on now, and of course, league bowling coming up in the fall and winter months. It's all taking place at Nordic Lanes. Scott and Sue Sordahl invite you to stop in and enjoy the family time. Vernon Memorial Health Care, known for their quality care serving the surrounding communities. It's Vernon Memorial Health Care, local clinics in Westby, Lafarge, and Viroqua. Your health care provider. So much care, so close. That's VMH. Wishing everyone a happy and safe 2020. The Eagles with the ball as we return here. Thanks to uh, the Viroqua Booster Club for their great support. We look forward to baseball season coming up and we'll fo follow uh, the Blackhawks in baseball and softball. Here's Alec Wall once again. Menzinski and O'Neill behind. Handoff. First man, it's Menzinski, and he's dropped. Nothing happening on that play as Hayden Thompson, 6'1", senior, 224-pounder, comes in and makes the stop. <clears throat> so second and 10. Well, the Viroqua Food Co-op, your organic grocery store in downtown Viroqua, supporting the broadcast today. Wall brings the line up. Hard count, a handoff to the second man, and oh, we're gonna get a flag on this one. Thrown right at the 50, and that's where he is brought down. O'Neill swallowed up there. That was uh, 65 in Evan Klinkner making the stop. And this is gonna be stepped off against the Eagles. And it'll bring up a second and long. Give it about second and 15. 427 to go in quarter number one. Oh, they're gonna, yeah, little, a <laughs> little further than that. Okay, give them another, give them another five. So second and 20 now. And the huddle breaks, and they'll come right up to the line of scrimmage here with what looks like, uh, appears it could be uh, passing down, but we'll see. They've got some good running backs. Wall drops over to the uh, left side. He throws downfield, and it is incomplete. A nice job defensively over there by Peterson, number 24, as he went up in the air and made the stop. Good hit. Cook just... Not able to hang on to it. It was good coverage in there as he was hit just as Cook uh, touched the ball. Peterson was there. So third and 20 now for the Eagles. Ball sits at the 39-yard line on this astral turf. The Eagles split their backs and receivers on both sides. Lone back is Menzinski. Quick inside 
catch by Meyer, and he is brought down at about the 46-yard line. So a short gain here, make it seven. It'll bring up of a fourth and right around 13 to go. Final placement is on the 47. And the Eagles are going to drop back into punt formation. And an illegal substitution here. To get their... Um, Players in, all right. So they say you've got three seconds to get your play, uh, player in. So coming out of the ball game is uh, Kleba, and now they'll be ready to go. They step off the five-yard penalty. Dropping back for the Eagles, it's going to be Peterson, number 24, and trying to get the other number. It might be Brando, the quarterback. Good snap. The approach kick is a floater high into the air, and it will come down. Oh, a great bounce here, and it's gonna to be touched at the 15-yard line. A great kick by the Eagles. They will pin the Falcons back on their own 15. We'll come back with more after this. The VFW of Aroka hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. Be sure to check out VFW banquet and dining facilities for your next big event. We can cater to all your needs, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, and of course your fundraising events. Call Eric Sherry 637-3212 and remember no one does more for veterans than the VFW. Main Street Mobile Mart, downtown Viroqua, Stop in and pick up your last minute fishing requirements. Bait, good tackle, and even a quick snack. It's Baroque's Mobile Mini Mark. Keep your vehicle running smoothly with Synergy Mobile Fuel. Rob and the whole game wish everyone the best of luck during the 2021 season. Jacob Huntsinker's punt puts the Falcons in a tough spot on their own 15. Brando up under center, he'll turn and hand off. Second man through once again, and uh, this time a little better run. Coming out here is uh, Brando, the running back. Actually, Coulterman is the quarterback, excuse me. Brando is the running back. He picks up about five, maybe six on the play. 250 and counting here. In quarter number one. Thanks to the Viroqua Dental Center supporting today's broadcast. Dr. Leanne Klum and her professional team. Coulterman has uh, Brando in motion. A short delay. This is going to be Peterson. And boy, he picks up ahead of steam and he'll get the first down. Gets across the 30, and the ball will be placed on the 32 for a first and 10. Cook making the stop. First down, first first down, I believe now for the Falcons. Coderman with a quick snap. He'll turn and hand off this time. Peterson trying to dance through a couple of defenders. He dodged one defender and then got sandwiched by a couple of uh, players. One of those uh, being number 65 in Ethan Anderson. Disrupting the play looked like that might have been, I uh, wonder if that wasn't uh, Hunsinger a little bit. Number eight, I think, was who it was, the defensive end. Played his uh, position very well and turned the play back in. They'll put Peterson in motion and a couple of people moved. So that'll drop him back five yards. With a minute 27 to go in the quarter. Out in front, 7-0, the Eagles striking on their first possession of the ball game.
Koderman has uh, the rollout. Far side of the ball is lobbed up into the air. It's caught. And at the original line of scrimmage, it's going to be brought down in there. Let's take a look. Looked like that was uh, Fry, I believe, with the catch. Austin Fry with the uh, reception. And actually, looks like he's going to gain a few more than that, about eight yards on the pickup. So third and eight now. Brandle steps out a little further, dropping back. Colterman, the throw downfield. It is caught at the 44-yard uh, line. What a grab there by uh, Brandle. Well, he just reached up and snagged that one as he was being pulled out of bounds. Defensively, it was played very well. First down, though, for the Falcons. They look to try and put a drive together. Looks like they're going to let the clock run out here in this opening period. That's what we'll have. Quarter number one in the books here in the 2021 spring season here for the uh, Scenic Bluffs Football Conference. We'll take a break as the Eagles lead the Falcons 7-0 here at Logan. The Viroqua Booster Club. Supporting the many teams of Viroqua High School, the Booster Club works closely with coaches and administration to assist in many ways. Contact Carl Zuby, Eric Anderson, or any of the Viroqua Booster Club officers. Get involved. Once a Blackhawk, always a Blackhawk. Turning here to Lacrosse Logan with uh, the rain coming down. Our thanks going out to VMH, Vernon Memorial Healthcare, helping us out today with this tape delayed broadcast. For all your health care, Vernon County and beyond. Also, our thanks to the VFW of Viroqua, located on the south side. No one does more for veterans than the VFW. Well, here's the turn and the handoff to Austin Fry. He will pick up uh, four tough yards inside uh, tackle here. Boy, I tell you what, I didn't quite see who that was. That the uh, that line collapsed in a hurry, but give a hard run of four. Why oh, the rain really coming down now? Man in motion, it's going to be a handoff right up the middle here and being pushed back by Cook. Fry got close to the first down, about a yard away when they finally mark it. Brings up a third and one. Well, that interior line for the Falcons did a nice job of getting the initial push. And the defense had to rise to the occasion. Once they slowed things down, Aiden Cook came in and finished off the play. Third and one for the Falcons. Colterman puts Peterson in motion. He'll take it himself and he'll get the first down and more. Still on his feet. They'll finally blow the whistle. You're going to give him about four yards on that sneak. That was just a quick snap. And he moved off to the right side of his center. Opening moments of quarter number two, it's the Eagles of Cashin out in front, seven nothing. Vernon Electric Cooperative bringing you today's action here from Lacrosse Logan. 
for all your electrical energy needs. We thank the fine folks here at Vernon Electric. Coulterman keeps it himself again. This time he's rocked as he gets to the 40. That's where they're going to mark it. Kling credited with the tackle on that play. Thanks to uh, Vernon Communications Cooperative, VCC. They continue to support area broadcast. There's a fumble, and let's take a look. Getting it back while wow, Coulterman quick to pounce on that ball. Just missed the Eagles looking for the turnover. That would have been the first turnover of the ball game and, of course, of the season. On the play, a loss of one, and we'll go back to a third and ten situation. Peterson in motion. They'll hand the ball off to the speedster, trying to get to the outside, and he is pulled down right underneath us. A flag on the play. We'll see what happens here. Cook was right there ready to uh, help, and he actually was the one who was able to kind of push the uh, runner and Peterson out of bounds. Well, the flag goes against the Falcons, and that's going to push him back a few yards. The holding call, as you can see. Brings up a third and 20 now for the Falcons as they're now back in their own territory. Ball sits at the 48-yard line. Coulterman has Fry right behind him. Menzinski here on the near side. And Peterson on the left. We're going to get a uh, false start here. The illegal procedure here by, oh, this time it's actually going to go on Cashton this time. All right. Jumping the gun just a touch. It'll bring up a third and 15. So the Falcons get five back. Coulterman up under center, rubs his hands, now he's ready. Takes the snap, drops straight back, he's under some pressure, kicks out here to the near side, the throw is in the turf. A lot of pressure being applied there, boy, he had uh, 70 and 71 in uh, Riviera Gonzalez and Riley Verkin chasing him down. So a fourth down situation, fourth and 15. Let's take a look here and see. Looks like they're going to drop back. We'll uh, pan back a little bit here. Bayer will go back on the anticipated kick. It's a good snap. The approach, a high kick. It's going to sail spiraling down around the 20. It takes a falcon bounce all the way down inside the 10. They'll pick it up at about the seven yard line. So a tremendous kick there by the Falcons and that was number 68 in Garrett Anderson with the booming kick and it puts the Eagles near their own end zone. We'll take a quick break and come right back more here from Lacrosse Logan. Gasser's Bar and Grill, wishing the best of luck to the Cashton Eagles, the Roca Blackhawks and the Westby Norsemen throughout the year. Be sure to call ahead for your lunch at 638-0134. Friday Fish, Taco Tuesday, and of course, their delicious pizzas. That's Gasser's in Baroqua.
Right up to the line of scrimmage comes the Eagles of Cashton as they lead 7-0 here. We're in quarter number two, 8.46 to go in this first half action. A turn, the handoff, it's going to be O'Neill gets tripped up at the line of scrimmage. He will pick up a couple of yards. That was um, Coulterman on the tackle. He had to kind of go down in the submarine situation, pick up that. Brings up uh, second and seven on the three yard gain. More of those sponsors, Snowflake Ski and Golf. Well, once that weather breaks, stop down there and have a fun time at Snowflake Ski and Golf. Wall turns, hands off, it's O'Neill again, this time a punishing run as he will pick up, it looks like the first down he uh, attacked number 33 in Franklin Wilds to get the first down. Just under eight minutes to go in the half. Ball on the 19 yard line. O'Neill is definitely a bruising runner and he's got some speed on top of that. Menzinski and O'Neill behind Wall. The turn, the handoff, they're going to ride O'Neill one more time, and he will get to the 25 yard line, trying to drag Wilds once again in on the tackle. So a nice job by O'Neill picking up another six yards on that carry. You can't go wrong on uh, the yards per carry on that. The Eagles will break from the huddle with a second and three situation upon them. Here's the snap again, O'Neill. He has the first down all the way inside. He will hit the 35 and roll to the 36. In on the tackle, that is going to be a 32 in. Austin Fry. O'Neill. Let's see. They must have, he must have gained another six or seven yards on that one as uh, they're really coming off on this uh, left side, hitting that guard tackle position. And why not do it again? Little stutter step move. That'll get him about three yards as he hits the 40 yard line. In on the tackle number 57 in Hayden Thompson with the initial stop. Pickup of four here for the Eagles and I tell you what, that was uh, a lot of that was on O'Neill himself. He had to do a little stutter step and go back to the right hand side to uh, get his um, four yards. Otherwise, it would have been a no-gain type play. Inside handoff and Menzinski, and a great job there, number 74. We don't have his number. Not sure if that would have been Urban or who that was, but boy, what a job there by the Falcon. Making the stop. Brings up third and seven now, make it third and six. Eagles with that opening drive score. And now they're trying to put another drive together here in quarter number two. Wall, little stumble, gets the ball. Oh, now the ball's dropped and it's recovered by the Falcons. On the... Uh, Fumble recovery is Roberto Mendoza pouncing on the ball at the 35 yard line. So the first turnover of the ball game and that one drops on to the uh, Eagles. Not able to hang on to that little pitch. We'll take a break and come right back. Spending time outside. Feels good, doesn't it? This is summer with the Viroqua Food Co-op. 
Mother Nature provides the fresh air and the sunshine, while the Viroqua Food Co-op is committed to your healthy life with organic, locally grown and produced food that tastes like, well, like a beautiful summer day. Whether you're camping, hiking, kayaking, gardening, or just relaxing with a backyard barbecue, the Viroqua Food Co-op is here for you and all your summer days on Main Street in Viroqua. Broidery and Bar in West Peak. 210D Swigum Road. No job is too small or too big. Contact Greg Danes or Amanda Coble for all your embroidery needs. Screen printing, commercial sewing, embroidery, or heat transferring. The place to go in Westby. Embroidery and more. Best of luck to the area teams. Thanks going out to those sponsors, Sleepy Hollow, of course, supporting today's broadcast as the Falcons pounce on a loose ball dropped on the ground here, and it's going to be a reverse now. This is uh, going to be Brando with the carry. It's the best field position so far for the Falcons. Buyer in on the tackle, but they pick up, let's see, about six. It brings up a uh, second and four situation now for the Falcon offense. Well, these two teams, uh, boy, I tell you what, what battles they've had over the years. Cash in with some great numbers. Here's the turn, the handoff. Fry, I believe he is gonna pick up a yard, maybe two on the carry. Byer again from that safety position coming up and hitting that last uh, smack, you might say, to get the stop. That interior line defensively for the Eagles. Trying to hold tough. Irving Diaz, number 54, was also in on that last play. Here's a good job defensively. Boy, I tell you what, staying right at home and putting a hit on, that was Ethan Anderson, a senior, a 6'1", 175-pounder. He stayed home and put the hit on Coulterman. Not sure if that was a design play for Coulterman or not. It's going to bring up a, a loss of maybe one, fourth and two now for the Falcons as the Eagle defense tries to stiffen up here. Quick snap, this is Peterson, he dives forward. That's enough for the first down. Peterson with that long frame, dives forward, picked up the first down and a, maybe a yard or two more. They'll spot the ball on the 23 yard line. Well, Scenic Bluffs Community Healthcare, located in Cashton, Ontario, Wilton, Viroqua. Helping us out, the ball on the ground. Coulterman able to get back on it again here. That's the second time that he's fumbled the ball, but has also recovered. So with that loss of that down in a sense, it's second and 10. Yeah, thanks again to Sleepy Hollow, by the way. We mentioned them. And their three facilities on the north side of Viroqua. Well, second and 10 as the rain continues to come down. Peterson in motion, an inside handoff, and going nowhere on that play. That inside part of the defense really toughened up. Fry not able to get too much going there, and Lucas Helgeson put the shoulder pad in him. Second quarter really going by in a hurry here with about a minute and a half remaining. <clears throat> Third down, inside, a little reverse handoff here and making the stop, you had Cook in there as Peterson trying to make the carry. And uh, the initial hit, give credit out there to Menzinski and Cook coming in to help with the final hit to make the stop. 
Timeout on the field by the Falcons will do the same. The Vasatag Funeral Home, dedicated to serving area families in time of need with caring and professional guidance. Be sure to contact Jay Vasatag for reliable, compassionate care. The loss of a loved one is a stressful time. Vasatag Funeral Home has been there serving the Vernon County area since 1970. Be sure to call 634 21 Zero, zero. Effinger's Equipment Sales and Service, 800 North Main in Viroqua. Be sure to give Mark a call at 637-7594. Stop in and take a look at all of those zero-turn lawnmowers that are ready for you. The grass is growing and that's the best way to take care of business. It's Effinger's Equipment Sales and Service. Wishing all the best to the area teams. The Falcons come right back into the line of scrimmage after the timeout here, and it's a fourth and eight situation. 112 to go in the half. Fake the pitch. Now the pitch comes out here, and oh, tripped up. A beautiful job defensively out here. That was number 84 in Dominique Holland. Wow, what a play he made there to get the stop as uh, Brandel tried to turn the corner and it's gonna be a, a turnover on downs. The Eagle defense rising up and making the stop. Let's take a quick break on that loss of downs and we'll return after this 30 second timeout. Coon Valley Telecommunications. Be sure to contact Carol before you dig. Coon Valley Telecommunications will be there to assist you with fast, friendly service. Serving the Stoddard, Coon Valley, and Chaseburg communities with DSL, cable, television, HD, phone service, long distance, and more. Contact them, 452-3101. Bill's coming back here as uh, we say thanks to the uh, River Bank located in Westby and Coon Valley for that down-home financial help. Stop in and talk to Katie Elseth and all of her wonderful crew as she manages both of those banks. Wall turns, hands off. Second man, O'Neill, stays on his feet, gets an extra yard as he's brought down from behind by Coulterman. Give him five on the play. Thompson with the initial hit here. Number 57. Clock continues to move here with the Eagles out in front, seven to nothing here. Pretty well played ball game. Couple of flags, which not all that bad when you come to think about it. Here's the snap, the turn, and a good job defensively here. Couldn't get on track by uh, O'Neill. Klinkner really uh, kind of got the old shoulder pads in there and got that upper body to uh, slow things down. Clock will run out here at the half with the Eagles out in front, seven to nothing. We will take a break ourselves. We come back, second half action from Lacrosse Logan. Seven nothing the score, Eagles with the uh, lead here over the Brookwood Falcons. The Westby Co-op Creamery, quality dairy products from the Westby Creamery. Their convenience store is open seven days a week. Serving the dairy industry for over 110 years, it's the Westby Co-op Creamery with organic and conventional dairy products for you to enjoy. Congratulations to the Westby Creamery for the continued support of our area farmers. Culver's of Viroqua. That's where you can get the great tasting butter burger or crank it up a notch. It's the deluxe burger right here in Viroqua where food is grown, not made. Home of the concrete mixer. Culver's hopes that you're enjoying today's special presentation. And remember, they offer a flavor of the day each and every day.
Welcome back to Lacrosse Logan High School. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, OLC. Second half action set to commence here. And let's take a look as Bayer will kick off here to begin this second half for the Eagles. The Falcons to receive in what they hope will be a good field position here. Well, the rain uh, kind of letting up just a touch. Not a Not a great day when it comes to that. Kind of cold and blustery in one way but when you have an artificial turf that's the nice part you can keep right on playing here's the kick uh, picked up by Peterson about the 10 yard line he will come up and the return gets inside to the uh, what about the 38 or so yard line let's see where they finally place it it's going to be the 39 yard line so a nice return of about 29 yards for Peterson and the uh, Dan Peterson, I tell you what, he's a speedster, and uh, watch him this year too. In uh, during the track season, folks, that young man is going to be a blast to watch. Well, the Eagles will drop back on defense, and it's first and ten for the Falcons here. And our thanks going out to Premier Co-op. Of course, the convenience store in the south side of Westby. Here's an opening drive, the handoff, it's a draw, and a good carry coming up here by Fry, <clears throat> right up the middle of the field. Gonna pick up uh, six on the play. Boy, that was a dandy way to start things off here in the second half. Schrader in on the tackle on that last play. Here's a handoff up the middle again. This time it's only about a yard. Had to dive forward on that one as Fry got tripped up and his best bet was to try and jump forward a little bit, which he was able to do. Third and three. The snap. Colterman has to keep it himself. He'll turn up field and he just got the first down. <clears throat> wow, he got to the 50. He had to make that final step. Make sure he could get that first down and he was able to do just that. In there on the tackle. I think that was, uh, they're going to give credit to James Hunt, number 21 to make the stop. Looked like that play might have been a busted play for a moment. Colterman able to make the most out of it. Thanks to Nordic Lane, Scott and Sue Sordahl bringing you today's action. There's the handoff. Off the left tackle once again and turning up field. That was uh, Brando. I'll tell you what, he just lowered the shoulder and picked up five, maybe six, six tough yards on the play. Took that uh, defensive back backfield to come up with the stop. Eagles up 7 nothing here, and the Falcons with the opening drive in the second half looking to try to even up the score. Quick snap. Here's Peterson, and he will roll close to the 40-yard line. Going to be just short of the 40. They'll put it on the 39, or excuse me, the 41-yard uh, line. There we go. <clears throat> so a uh, third and one, Coulterman comes back into the huddle after getting the play call from head coach Jeremy Mack. Jared Hemmerspach and his defense looking to make a stop. Peterson in motion, a delayed handoff. It's going to be Brando, and he will dive forward for the first down. Picking up a couple yards. Give them three on the play. They'll put the ball down on the 37, 38-yard uh, line. There we are. <clears throat> Coming into the ball game, Rivera Gonzalez. 
Number 70 comes in and will take the left tackle defensive position here. A quick snap, the pitch out here to Peterson. Peterson trying to get around the corner and he will dive forward, rolling out of bounds here. And they're gonna mark him at the uh, 29 yard line. Just shy of the first down by about a yard and a half. Well, the game plan with Peterson is to give him a, a head start on things, get that speed up and going. He was able to pick up nearly eight yards on the play. Thanks going out to Main Street Mobile Mart. We'll talk about them in just a moment here. Down on his knees, that was Brando. In on the stop 27 in Tanner Seekert. Making the hit there, but uh, boy, rolling down was uh, Brando. He had enough for the first down. Putting the ball on the 28 yard line. <clears throat> Peterson in motion, the handoff, stopped at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a loss on the play. Gonzalez in there on the hit. He wrapped him up in a hurry, got some help over there. It was 65 in Ethan Anderson, but Rivera, Gonzalez, the first to hit him and give him credit for the, for the takedown. Loss on the play of a couple of yards. Second and 12 now. Main Street Mobile Mart uh, with that Synergy Mobile Fuel in downtown Viroqua. Nordic Lanes, by the way, they'll have their softball season coming up before too long. Here's a play, and oh boy, down he goes. Coulterman moving out to the left-hand side, and he ran smack dab into Irving Diaz. The big guy there knocked him over. Huge loss on the play for the Falcons. Oh, Zach Milsna, excuse me, that's right, Zach, uh, they changed the numbers, I forgot about that. <laughs> Bill Freiberg up here, and I'm gonna have to use Bill's eyes every once in a while, so thanks for that. So Milsna with a huge play. Now, uh, whistle blows. The flags fly here. Let's take a look at the call. Number 70 and Gonzalez is going to come out of the ball game. Coming back in is Diaz. They're talking things over here as the uh, officiating crew. Trying to see maybe who moved first. Unsports, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, some calling out signals apparently is what they said. So that's kind of a tough one there. That's a, that's a warning, a team warning on that one. So it's an automatic, well, I shouldn't say it's automatic. It's not an automatic first down because they had played, uh, their play was going to be third and long. Now it's third and five. Quick pitch out here to Brando. He will turn, and he is going to get a first down all the way down to the 15-yard line. Wow. Talk about running hard. Bayer. Over there, along with Seekert, 27 in on the tackle. <clears throat> so a uh, first and 10 now. Let's see where they placed the ball. Excuse me, I was off a little bit on that. They're, uh, They are on the 15, all right, here comes Peterson again. He comes around here to the near side, stops, reverses, and he will make something happen on his own as he will be tackled after about a two yard pickup. 
Diaz with the uh, tackle. Well, he ran a long ways for those two yards. Thanks to the Gunnarsson Health System, the Viroqua Clinic bringing you today's action. <clears throat> Part of that terrific Gunnarsson Health System. Here's a quick snap. Peterson taking this one. He goes off tackle, and he is going to get inside the 10. Now a late flag coming in. They're going to call a holding uh, penalty here on the Falcons. That's going to bring them back after a pretty fair pickup there by Peterson. It might have been on his uh, his uh, running mate, I think, in Fry. They said number 32 with the hold. Brings up a second and 14 now instead of second and short. Coulterman, the quarterback, comes up under center. They'll put the man in motion and the handoff. It's a late hold uh, handoff here and back inside the 15 is Fry. Well, they hand it off to Fry and he'll pick up about five on the play. Three forty-five and counting in this third quarter of action, and the Eagles continue to stay out in front, seven nothing. Now the whistle blows. We're going to get a flag here again. Uh, illegal procedure here on the offense, and that'll push him back. So instead of that uh, uh, third and nine, it's going to be third and about 14. Thanks to Tala and the crew at Gasser's Bar and Grill. Stop in there for Friday fish. They have a fish special all day. They're closed on Mondays. There are some other great meals throughout the week. Here's the pitch out to Brando. He turns, now spun around. And he is brought down for another loss. Well, messing things up defensively, that was Men Menzinski who broke through the line. <clears throat> and that, uh, that created a, a spin move by Brando. Now he comes up limping just a little bit. Two forty-five to go here in quarter number three. Brando in motion. Now whistle blows, and let's see what happens here. We might have an encroachment call. We'll wait and see. No, it's going to be a little movement on the line, and that's another penalty against the Falcon offense. On that left side, just a inadvertent movement by the Falcon line. And it's going to be, uh, wow, fourth and 22 now. What looked to be a promising drive is in a tough situation now for Brookwood. Here's the handoff. Peterson trying to come around the corner, and he winds up running straight out of bounds. Nothing there, that defense doing the job. Hunsinger there on the defensive side. And it'll be a turnover on downs for the Eagle defense. Let's take a quick break. We'll come right back with the final 205 in quarter number three. Up 7 0, the Eagles with the ball. Chaseburg Farmers Union Co op, located in Chaseburg, Wisconsin. 113 Cactus Drive. Be sure to call John Slevichek or any of his team members 
483-2194, specializing in agronomy, feed, automotive, energy, and HVAC systems. In your community is Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op. Here we go with the play. Eagles finally touching the ball offensively here in quarter number three. Wall turns, hands off. This is going to be O'Neill off to the uh, right side this time. Going to pick up a couple of yards here. Going to give him three on the play. And it's second and seven as we say thanks to another one of those sponsors in embroidery and more. Thanks to Greg Danes and family. Located out there at Swigham Drive, 210D Swigham Drive. Here's the snap, a handoff, and it's O'Neill. Whoa, he runs into, might have been uh, Klinkner right away. But he's able to push forward just enough before being taken down. He'll give him another three to four yards on that carry. Cook brings the play in from the sideline. Now they're back to their eye formation. Here's a, a little reverse, the ball on the ground, but picked up by Cook. Cook was able to retrieve the ball, bounced right back into him as he was coming down to the ground, so dodging a big bullet right there. Though it is fourth down, and the clock will continue to run here with 20 seconds to go in quarter number three. And a decision time here for the Eagle offense. They might be able to let the clock run out here. Looks like that's what's going to happen. Five seconds to go. End of the quarter, the Eagles maintain the lead here, but they're in a fourth and long situation. We'll come back with more here. Final quarter coming up after this. Cash and Farm Supply, offering a full line of organic farm seed and fertilizers approved for organic use. Be sure to call 654-5123. Since 1997, your organic farming specialist is Cashton Farm Supply. Best of luck to our area athletes throughout the year. Welcome back as quarter number four ready to begin here in the Eagles in punt formation. It's a good snap to Hunsinger. His kick end over end coming down at about the 45 yard line to Brando. Makes a couple of moves. He's open in the open field, still on his feet. He will get down now a flag on the floor. They're going to put him down at about the 32 yard line, but let's see what that flag is about. A lot of times in that situation, you get a block. In the back, we'll wait and see though. And it's gonna go against the uh, Eagles and the play is uh, declined. And uh, again, great field position for the Falcons here to begin quarter number four. Thanks to Evinger Sales and Service, uh, they service what they sell, of course, that's Mark Evinger on the north side of Viroqua. And our thanks going out to Culver's of Oroqua on the north side. Stop in there. drive through open for all your favorite baskets. I put a man in motion and the whistle. Again, illegal motion here. They jumped the gun a little bit. The Falcons did. And that will shoot him in the foot. Well, uh, all of a sudden, for some reason, that Falcon offense has been sputtering a little bit. This is probably about the uh, fourth penalty against them in the last uh, couple of series. In that first half, the play was, I thought was really uh, a job well done. 
Here's Peterson, sidesteps one would-be tackler and winds up getting pushed down to the ground. He'll try to get back to the original line of scrimmage. He's just shy of that by about a yard. Maybe two. So it brings up a uh, second and 12. Eagles out in front, as I mentioned. Uh, boy, that uh, opening drive uh, has stood solid this for the entire game. Interesting enough. And there they are again. False start again. So uh, not even, uh, I guess, sputtering and not even chugging along right now. So Falcons have got to regroup here and find out what they're doing wrong. They'll start the clock up here, third, uh, second down yet. A second and 17. They'll put Peterson in motion, fake the handoff for a dropping back. Coulterman steps up now, looking, still looking, and he pitches. Nope, they're going to say he was down on the ground. The knee was down. And uh, he's going to be shy of the 40. They're going to mark it down as a loss on the play down at the 41. He had to be a little careful with that pitch, too. He might have pitched it forward. But uh, his knee was on the ground. So third and long. Boy, they had such a promising start at the 32-yard line off from the punt. Again, man in motion. Coulterman takes it himself. He turns up field. He is going to get close to the uh, original line of scrimmage. In on the tackle. That was a great job over there coming up quickly. Was uh, Brett Hemmerschbach making the stop. He also had uh, 21 in James Hunt. So a couple of bang, bang tackles there to make the stop. Fourth down, though, for the Falcons. Just a little over 10 yards to go. Peterson in motion. Coderman rolls out. He's in trouble. They come back here. It's an open screen by himself, and he gets by. That's Brando, and he is down inside the five. No, he steps out of bounds. Oh, what a play there by the offense. Brando, they say, steps out at about the uh, four-yard line or so. We're going to move the... Uh, camera here a little bit and see if we can't get the play. Uh, inside the 10 was where he stepped out. All right. So first and goal on the seven yard line. Falcons trying to make some noise here. Peterson in motion. Coulterman takes it himself. He goes up the middle and he's going to get down inside the three it looks like. Brett Hemmerschbach in on the tackle. 9-10 and counting here. Back into the ball game comes Gonzalez, number 70. Try to fortify that inside portion of the defensive line. Colderman. Fry behind him, fakes the handoff, looks, going to keep it himself, trying to run forward, and he's pushed backwards. Couple of big hits in there. Hunsinger helping out at the end. And Cook was the one who laid the big hit on him. Ball is on the two-yard line. Austin Fry... Kind of standing behind him uh, it was like he was waiting for a handoff, but which never came. Third and goal. Peterson, here's the handoff, inside handoff, and it's a score. By Brando. All by himself as he's able to walk in 
And it's a one point ball game. 7 6 now. Yeah, it looks like the Falcons looking at uh, going for two here. And the lead. 8.02 on the clock. So it's a big play hit coming up here for both teams. Ball is on the ground, and the extra point conversion try is no good. And the Eagles hold. Whoa. At the 8.02 mark, it's 7-6. Cashed in when we return. The Aging and Disability Resource Center in Vernon County. When it comes to making connections between you and your community, it's ADRC. ADRC can support the elderly with transportation, caregiving, meals, and health promotions. Be sure to stop by 402 Courthouse Square learn more about these wonderful services. Anderson to kick here for the Falcons. Deep men. O'Neill, number seven in the back deep, and the ball comes down. It's actually going to come down to uh, 81 is uh, Kleba, maybe. And, oh, he is tugged down. That was uh, number 74 again. I apologize, we do not have the name of uh, that player. Boy, he did a great job of pulling him down. That was Connor Butzler, by the way, on the return. Ball placed on the 37 yard line where the Eagles will take over. Just under eight minutes to go in the ball game and the Eagles out in front 7-6 after the Falcons just scored on from some good field position. Here is O'Neill running hard. He'll pick up about five on the play. Brando in on the stop. Well, more of those uh, sponsors, Coon Valley Telecommunications, you're watching on their channel 14. They continue to serve Stoddard, Coon Valley, and the Chaseburg area. Thanks to Cashton Building Supply and CBS Design, Kevin Kirking and Courtney Cousy. A winning combination right there. Here's a play now on the handoff. And boy, working hard to get that first down. O'Neill able to do just that. Huge first down there for the Eagles. Thanks to Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op helping us out. John Maslevichek and his crew integral part of that community and surrounding communities for that matter. Here's the snap. Wall with the pitch to O'Neill. On his feet, he gets across the 50-yard line before he's tugged down. Looked like Coulterman was one of those helping out on the tackle. Bayer brings the play in from the sideline. Back to the I formation. Wall gets the line set. He turns, rolls out, now looking downfield. He has his man. And a penalty coming up here. Uh, it might have been a, could have been a face mask here on the tackle. Peterson on the defensive side. I 
Oh, it was a collar tackle, okay. So 15 yards on that one has stepped off. Oh, a tough break there for the Falcons, but the Eagles striking quick to get that first down and then they add a few more yards on top of it with the penalty. Benzinski up right behind Wall. And a quick snap, handoff. Second man through is O'Neal. He gets to the 20 before he's brought down. In there on the stop is Hayden Thompson. 5'7", 17 to go here. Clock continuing to move. Now, by the time they snap, it'll be right around the five minute mark. But the big drive continuing here for the Eagles. Wall gets the snap, turns hands off once again. O'Neal dives forward. Gets inside the 15. And we get a timeout by Brookwood. The Falcons taking a break here as the Eagles putting together a huge drive here near the end of the ball game. We'll take a break ourselves. Score 7-6, 442 remaining. When it comes to all your building supply requirements, be sure to stop in at Cashton Building Supply. Kevin Kirking has you covered when it comes to quality building products. And while you're there, be sure to talk to Courtney Cousy for any and all of your design renovations. CBS Design has your plans come to life with a terrific 3D model. It's a winning combination, cash and building supply and CBS Designs. Thanks to a couple more of those terrific sponsors, Cash and Farm Supply, when it comes to all your organic farming needs from feed, seed, and more. Ernie Peterson and crew out there in Highway 27. Well, the Eagles putting together a nice drive here off the uh, previous score by the Falcons. And the Falcons' defense has just been backpedaling. A good timeout by head coach Jeremy Mack to try and get him regrouped. Here's O'Neal. He runs right into Klinkner. Enough for the first down, though. Tackle at about the... 12 yard line or was it the 10? They're going to say the 10 yard line. So it's first and goal with the ball right, the nose of the ball right on the uh, 10 yard line. Well, Bobby John's a great place to stop and have a meal from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Sue Brigham welcomes you anytime. Here's the snap, the quick pitch out to O'Neal, trying to get to the outside. Still on his feet, but now he's going to be stopped. A loss of about one on the play. Another timeout here by the Falcons. We can do the same. 4-0-4 remaining in the ball game, and it's 7-6. We're in the uh, second and goal situation for the Eagles. Bobby Johns in Cashton. When it comes to that down home, family style restaurant with great food. That's Bobby John's for mouth-watering breakfast, lunch and specials, and supper as well. Be sure to stop in on Friday nights for the delicious Friday Fish Fry. Now is the time to book your upcoming graduation celebration. Let Sue do the catering for you. 654-7611. Second and goal for the Eagles as we say thanks to the Bank of Cashton, Scott Wall and his crew as they uh, still are on Main Street, but soon uh, they'll be moving into the new facility. That'll be a great thing to see. Well, we thank the Bank of Cashton. Here we are with second and 12 now. Second and goal from the 12. Handoff. Ball on the ground, let's see who's got it. Looks like the uh, Eagles are able to pick it up. They're able to cover. 
But it's third and go now on the 10, so gain of two. Bayer bringing the play in from the sideline to Alec Wall, the quarterback. ADRC, the Agent and Disability Resource Center. Give them a call at 637-5201 if you know of uh, anyone in uh, maybe in a, just a tough situation. Here we are with the play, especially the senior citizens and the disabled citizens. On the throw, wide open, go, overshot him. Threw a little bit behind Bayer, who was open. A touchdown was there for the taking, but not that time around. 3.16 to go in the game, and it's fourth and goal. Well, the play call was right on. Alec throwing just a touch behind Bayer. They'll come up to the line of scrimmage now. Falcon defense needing one more stop. And, of course, the Eagles want one big play. Here's Wall. He rolls out here to the right-hand side looking. He fires. It's caught by just shy of the goal line. Boy, what a grab over there uh, by Lincoln Kling. He had to go, he had to dive where he did to come up with the reception, but uh, he skidded to the, to the ground at the one. So the uh, turnover on downs, the Falcon defense holds. The Bank of Cashton and Scott Wall hope that you are enjoying today's special broadcast. Be sure to contact Ann Kaiser for all of your HSA or other insurance questions that you may have. 654-5121. Best of luck to the Cashton Eagles. From your friends, it's the Bank of Cashton, serving the area since 1899. Here we are as we come back to Lacrosse Logan football field. A quick handoff here, and it's going to be Coulterman. Oh, he still has the ball. He's in the uh, end zone. Got to get out. That is Peterson. He just got out. Wow, what a job. That was a dangerous play call for the Falcons. And uh, lucky for them, Peterson was able to actually get out. He got a little breathing room. He gets out to about the three-yard line. But they were probably three yards deep in the end zone. And the Eagle defense just couldn't catch them. Wow. 2.35 to go in the game. Coulterman puts... The man in motion, and he might have turned a little too quick in Brando. No, oh, it's going to go against the uh, Eagles. Wow. So a tough break on that one. That gives them even more breathing room. And it's second and three. Thanks going out to our final sponsor, American Family Insurance, the Phil Strand Agency, located in Westby. That time it's going to go against the uh, Falcon line. Located, of course, in Viroqua and Westby, American Family Insurance, the Phil Strand Agency. Sincere thanks to them for all that they do. It's the family that you choose. Well, that pushes the... Falcons back now, five yards. So instead of second and three, it's second and eight. A little tougher situation now. And they are moving again. It is against the Falcons at half the distance to the goal this time. And the ball goes to the uh, two yard line. Second and nine. Two minutes remaining in the ball game. Colderman with the handoff. Peterson turns, gets back across the five, maybe to the six. And a timeout, final timeout here on the floor by the Falcons. We can do the same. Boy, what a game. 
7-6 Eagles out in front, 148 remaining. American Family Insurance, the Phil Strand Agency, has been around since 1987, helping the West Beat, Viroqua, and surrounding communities by offering outstanding service and insurance products for your protection. It's the family you choose, the Phil Strand American Family Insurance Agency. Best of luck to the area teams throughout the year. Come out from the timeout right on to the line of scrimmage, ready to go. Two downs to get five yards and try and keep the play alive. Peterson with the ball. He will be about a yard or two, make it a couple of yards short at least. He didn't get to the 10. So now a tough play call here is fourth and two. Fourth and two here for the Falcons. They have two play calls in their pocket. Here's a turn, the handoff, and uh, pushing his way forward. Tell you what, it's going to be really close. And a short. Wow. Eagle defense. Coming up big. Just on the uh, tip of the 10 yard line, the football sits. And now all the Eagles have to do is kneel down. No timeouts remaining here for the Falcons. Cook will be deep in the backfield. Wall will take the snap and he'll kneel down. And the clock will continue to move here. Well, next week, let's take a look. We'll be in Cashin on Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday night with the uh, volleyball team. They will be taking on the Seneca squad. The Seneca girls come to town. That'll be an early start, by the way. 5.30 for the JV and 7 o'clock for the varsity. And uh, opening game, home game for the uh, Eagles on the home field. If the weather straightens up, there's another kneel down. 30 some seconds. That uh, game time is at noon on Thursday. That's April 1st, by the way. So look forward to uh, those two events next week at Cashton High School. Well, there you have it. What a great first game here, folks as the Cash and Eagles, the whole squad pick up the win here at uh, La Crosse Logan's football field. And uh, they come up with the win. Final score seven to six here over the Brookwood Falcons. And I tell you what, a valent try by the Falcons as uh, they made a game of this today on Saturday. Well, we certainly hope that you enjoy watching this Western Wisconsin video production LLC of Cashton and Brookwood Scenic Bluffs football. 7-6, your final score. We'll see you real soon somewhere on the gridiron. Have a great day, everyone.